Hello family, hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Eko Simpson and I'm the head teacher of Afringwa DA Basic School, a school located in Abra Asebu, Kwamankese district in the central region of Ghana. Let's go. Let's stay there. John, take it back. Isaac, take it back. Okay. On your marks. So these are kind of the games that kids play in most of the Ghanaian schools. And this is coming to you from Afringwa DA Basic School. So yes, Afringwa DA Basic School. On your marks. Set. Pay. Okay. All right, so this school was established in 1980 thereabout and 2008 up to 2022 and I'm enjoying it already. Now, there are few things that when I joined this school I've been able to do or achieve for the school. Bear in mind that when I came in 2008, 2009 I was made a head teacher of the school. Maybe you will call it a principal of the school. Captain. So I spoke with my staff Mind you that I don't do things by myself. I discuss everything with my teachers and then my staff, like I said. So we came up with a school badge. And then we also introduced a Friday wear, which is a Lacoste with a school name. We also introduced um, speech and prize giving day. I mean, we've done a lot. Fast forward 2022, school has resumed. What are we doing? Uh, kind courtesy of a family member. Yes, I call him a fa no. Yes, I call her a family member because anybody who is part of my YouTube channel like yourself, you're a family. All right, so last month I came down. So a few days ago, I had a visit by one of the family members, Marcella. You and the beautiful family from the United States, you came to our friend. We were like, hey, Echo, I love the school. I love what you're doing. But I want to support you with one thing because the school doors were broken. And now let me, let's go there. Now let's move to the classrooms and let me show you the doors that has been fixed. Let's go. All right, so like I told you, let's go to one of the classrooms and see the few development that has gone down when school resumed. So this is basic one, all right? Okay. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm also fine. Sit down. Um, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. How are you? <laughs> All right, so this is basic one. Um, this is basic one. Previously, the door was very, very bad. Um, so this was the door. Can you, you did get them? You did get them? All right, so this was the broken door when uh, the family members visited my school in Afringwa. And then there was a donation, immediate donation for us to fix the door. So now, as you can see, the kids are even happy that their doors has been fixed. Now, let's go to the other classroom and check it out. All right, so let me say hello to the teacher before continuing. Hello. Yeah, okay. Good, good morning, class. Okay, sit down. Thank you. All right, this is the other door that also got fixed because the other one was broken. And um, honestly, I am very happy that uh, sometimes through the conversations that we have with people, uh, we are able to bring development to the school. So if you're a head teacher and you're watching me from any of the rural communities in Ghana, I think that you should make an effort to connect with not only the diaspora. There are a lot of you know, family and friends who will love to see your school develop and grow. Let's check the other classrooms as well. This door was left unattended to, even though it's kind of weak, but um, we were able to fix five of the doors. So this one, because it was a little bit strong, we had to leave it like that. Let's move. And this is my office. I know my office is not like uh, an international kind of office, but this is where I do my thing. Come. Okay, so in my office, I have a, an old broken shelf well i have to use it like that and i have some containers here where we have some books in it and then my table and chair but before i end this video i'm going to show you my new office no my yet to be new office all right let's go 
okay so this door has also been changed and it's i'm happy this has changed are you happy about the new development that is going on in the school especially with the doors yes please how was it like before and how is it like now it wasn't in a good position mm -hmm. now due to the changes and everything and moreover to we are not safe okay yeah okay so now as it has been replaced we are safe now yes and, and the, the kids, kids are happy coming to school and you are also happy yes please okay. ah. <laughs> all right so this is the other door that is also fixed that is the basic five and then the last one is basic six Come. So this was the door that was already there. This door was the one that was there. It's broken. Nasty, nasty doors. And now we have this new one. So um, I want to say thank you to Marcella. Thank you to Nanan Ketia. Thank you to everybody who donated specifically for the doors to be fixed. I know there are other projects we have to do. Uh, we also, you know, uh, together with those that I mentioned, we are trying to get more funds to change the windows in the school. As a head teacher, I have to do certain things to put the school in a good condition. Hello. Oh, you wonder why my car is very dirty? Because the road network from Cape Coast, I, I live in Cape Coast, so and I live here too. I've been living here for 14 years. The same way I live in Cape Coast for 14 years. So this is what happens. On Mondays, I drive all the way from Cape Coast to the village. I stay here till Friday, then I move back to Cape Coast. Now, the road network from Cape Coast to the junction that leads to the village is start. But the road from the village junction to the village itself where the school is, is nasty. It's, it's a dirty road. I learned they want to fix it, but it's still not being fixed. It's a dirty road. So now, every time my car is always dirty, because if I wash it now and I have to go to the office and come back, it will still be dirty. So... The other issue is that because it's an old car, I think 2005 model, uh, it gives me a lot of issues, especially with the engine. And then, like I said, mostly I get a lot of people visiting me, the school, and others who want me to do certain projects for them. So I have to go here, go there, come here. I have been fixing it all the time when there's an issue. But I'm looking at maybe getting a support to get a pickup. Yes, a pickup truck. Because a lot of times I need to go here, get these things. A lot of time I need to go here, get these things. Anyway, that is one thing we will talk about when we are all set and ready to support a call Simpson. Maybe get a new car, a fresh car that will help me move around and also support you, diaspora, who want me to build for you, uh, supervise your project and all that. I need a truck, not a sedan car. All right, let's go. Well, if you don't use the disabled path, then you would have to use the stairs, like this. Now, this is one of the major development or projects I have embarked on when I started teaching. I have successfully um, helped school students to have school uniforms, school backpacks, shoes, sandals, exercise books and everything. It got to a time I realized that kids in the rural community will close from school, go home and do nothing else. There's nothing else to be done. So I had a conversation with my brother Gary Sticks. So Gary Sticks was a mate of mine. He's in the United States. And then we talked about, hey Echo, why don't we build a library? So Gary Sticks, uh, Gary Ortiz, he's in the United States right now. We came together and said, yo, let's build a library for the school. So we started this project bit by bit. And he's still in contact with everything that is going on. He sees everything. Fast forward, this is where we are now. Look, everything is complete. I mean, the roofing, green roofing. We have a little porch here, if I should call it a porch. And um, no, you let me take you through. But this building or this library consists of one office for the head teacher, which is me. Or if I get to leave here, if I get to be transferred from this school to another school, the next head teacher who comes is going to benefit from this library. So mind you, whatever we do right now is not for immediate satisfaction, but for tomorrow. So it has an office. It has a big hall that we're going to use for the library itself. And then we are thinking of, you know, 
partitioning it into two one for the library and one for maybe a computer lab and then we have a washroom two washrooms all right so basically this is what the library entails let's go all right, so basically we're in the process of painting the school so if you can see there are some rubber paints and everything here on the floor so we are trying to put a library in a complete state all right so um fortunately for us we've been able to so we've been able to install ceiling fans over here the library i told you is pretty big it's very big and it's empty now because we are trying to paint it and then ask you to support us with tables chairs shelves basically what we need and i want to say thank you to all my staff all my teachers they've been a great support to whatever is going on right now when it got to the painting it is the teachers who are painting isn't that beautiful because everybody is trying to put his or her resources and time together for us to achieve this it is not by myself we did this together so there are two doors the little one here and then the big one there the big one is going to be the main door for the kids when they come here to read and this one will be you know the door that leads to my office and to the washroom as well all right let me show you my office too all right i'm in a, i'm in my office now in a tiled office check check the floor so my floors are tiled unlike the other schools that don't have tiled offices so basically this is going to be my office the head teacher's office now you see these books are packed because for some time now we've been having some support with the books even though we are not done with the library which i pray we will get it done before march before march now the few donations that i've had i decided to keep them here even though we've not started using it because i was keeping it in my room and it's getting plenty so i had to keep them here you know save them nicely here so that when we officially open the library we'll take all of them there now this is going to be my office so when you visit my school there's going to be a sofa here there's going to be a fridge i'm going to be sitting here my big desk with my rolling chair and then with a you know a tv where we're going to be watching news or you know talking about everything everything so basically this is the update of what is happening in my school like i said i want to say a very big thank you to all of you who have donated i might not be able to call all the names because some of you are anonymous you don't want even me to know that you have donated but i want to say shout outs to gary sticks i want to say shout outs to felicia Boama. i want to say shout out to strong i want to say shout outs to uh marcella i want to say shout outs to ben Yehua, your name is like an Israelite name, so I can't really mention it. But Ben, you know yourself when you watch this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When we started, he was the one who opened the GoFundMe for the project. And every fund that came, he was honest to push everything, and then we did what we had to do. It got to a time, it stopped because he was having issues sending me money. You know, sometimes the Western world don't want you to support us here. And then I also want to say thank you to Yasantua. She's been wonderful with us. She was the next person who also uh, supported by opening a GoFundMe account where people were donating. And she's been a great support to whatever we're doing right now. So shout out to you, Yasantua. You are now living in Ghana. Definitely we will meet up and make a video and let your people see that, hey, this is what is going on. So at this point, I know you would want to say, Echo, how do I support you? I want to support you. I want, okay, I want to get you a desk. How much is it? I want to get you a, a chair. How much is it? I want to get you some, some shelves. How much is it? Echo, I really want to get you the table that you're going to put in your office. I'm going to get you the rolling chair. Okay, the swinging chair. Echo, okay, I'm going to get you a little TV where you're going to be watching news. Okay, Echo, I'm going to get you a refrigerator so that when you visit and you're sitting in my office having a conversation, I can get you a drink or something. That is it. And I want to say my last shout outs and thank you to my district director. Yes, uh, my district director, she's been supportive. So the director of Abra Asebu Kwaman Kese District. Uh, I want to say shout outs to you for she's a mother to me sometimes i'm stubborn she knows 
but hey i'm sorry for if i've been you know acting weird sometimes but i want to say thank you very much for being there to support and advise and everything i know very soon when we are launching this project you will be here to say echo we did it thank you very much for checking me out if you want to support this project kindly put up a comment send me an email or go to GoFundMe, look for Afringwa Library, and then make a donation. Thank you very much. And Now I'm going to